Before this video starts, 65.9% of you aren't subscribed to the channel. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. Hello everybody, Jamie here from FM Scout. In today's video, I am bringing you a Football Manager Wonder Kids Spotlight and today's focus is going to be on Marco Canna of Anderlecht. Marco Canna is predicted to be one of the best defensive players to come from Belgium and I'm going to show you why on this video. But before we get started, I want you guys to leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know any experiences, or if you've signed Marco Canna before, let me know your experiences with this player, and I will put this on our Twitter account, at FM Scout. But first, let's have a look at some in real life footage of Marco Canna. Okay, so what we're going to do today, we are going to move Marco Canna to Manchester United on Football Manager. We're going to watch his development. We're going to have him starting from the off. He's going to be playing as a 16-year-old in the Premier League in A to try and push his development and see where he gets to. Marco Canna is available for around 20 to 25 million and his expected wages are around 60k. Marco Canna also has a minus 9 potential ability which means he could average on save to save between 150 and 180. So some saves, it will be 150. Some saves, it will be 180. Now, I mean, 150 is still very good for 20 million. And you can sell that guy for potentially a lot more than that. Before we send him to Manchester United, I want you guys, again, to leave me a comment of any future players that you want me to do on these Wonder Kid spotlights. You know, it could be your favourite Wonder Kid, someone that you've had experience with. Please let me know in the comments what you want to see next. You can see though, Marco Canna currently is playing for Anderlecht. This season, 1920 season, he has made 15 appearances in the Belgian Super League. And that is incredible for a player of his age. He's clearly got something. And hopefully you, what you guys saw on the video, you can see how he plays. You know, he can play centre-back, he's a libero, he's a ball-playing defender. He can play all roles as a defensive midfielder, which is what we're going to use him as today. We're going to use him as a DLP on defend. So you won't see a lot of goals from him, but I'm hoping he can maybe win some trophies with United. He can play Secundo Volante, ball-winning midfielder, and he can also play central midfielder. So if you aren't a fan of DMs, you know, this guy is easily trainable as a DLP or a Mazala advanced playmaker, box-to-box -box if you get his finishing up. And this is without doubt one of my favourite players, Wonder Kids on Football Manager 2020. I encourage you, if you do start at a bigger club, to make sure you sign this guy. I know you guys are thinking 20 million for a 16 year old, but the guy's value could go to 80, 90 million, and it could be your rock in the middle, seriously. So you can see we've moved Marco Canna to Manchester United. Now please ignore that he's joining Manchester City. This is just because I want to see his development at one club. And he's going to be playing every game from 16 years old. We're going to go forward 7 years until he's about 23, 24. And we're going to see what he does season by season. And we're going to look at his current ability and his potential ability as well. Season by season. So you can see if we go to player attribute... His current ability is 107, while his potential ability is 180, which is the max that this player can go to. Now, because he's been transferred to us on £120 per week, he's always going to stay on that. So the value won't be right in a few years. So, But bear in mind, when you see his attributes later on, is a player that attribute-wise and value-wise, he will be valued around 80, 90 million. But if we look at the tactics, this is something we're going to go like. I haven't sorted the tactic out yet. But it's going to be very basic, you know, we're probably going to use one of the presets. And we're just going to make sure that Kana is a DLP defend. That's the way we're going to go. We could have put him as a centre mid or we could have put him as a ball playing defender. 
but I just want to go with his natural role from the start. And I know a lot of people like playing the M's this year, so in terms of tactics, I'm just going to literally holiday it. I'm going to make sure when we holiday it that he uses the current match tactics and the current team when possible. And I personally think that this guy is ready for the Premier League at 16 years old with these type of attributes. You know, you should you should honestly bring him in. But let's go forward a year and let's see what he does in his first season with Manchester United. We are back after the first season and you can see he has been playing. He made 35 appearances in the Premier League as a 16 slash 17 year old. You can see as well he was in the FA Cup. He was also, he, he didn't play in any kind of Europa League or anything, but he was in the Cups and he was in the Premier League. And the, the main thing we want to look at is his progress. Now, if we go to attributes and go to all time, you can see after season one of playing that many appearances, his first touch, his marking, his decisions has gone up by two, his anticipation, his positioning, vision, and a lot of his physical attributes have gone up in season one. But after season one, what has his current ability gone to? He was at 108 after one season. He has now gone to 128. So what a season for Marco Canna. Did Manchester United win anything in this period? They finished second in the Premier League. They got knocked out by Wolves in the Europa League. They won the FA Cup though. So he's already got an FA Cup under his belt, which I think is absolutely brilliant. So yeah, really impressed with season one. I think, like I say, this guy will be turn out to be an absolute quality player. Let's move on to Season 2. Season 2 now, he's 18 years old. His value has actually gone up to 21.5 million. He's now 2.5 star. You can see in terms of, his, you know, he's been playing in the World Cup qualifications. He's, he's starting to play for Belgium. He's now made 5 caps, 2 goals. But 33 appearances, 7.18, which is a much bigger, you know, it's a bigger average rating than Season 1. This is season 1, 706. Season 2, 718. He did score his first goal for Manchester United as well. And let's have a look again at his progress if we've got any more. Let's go all time. So you can see right here his determination has dropped slightly. That is probably just down to attribute balancing. But look at his, I mean, his balance has gone up by four attributes in two years. And, you know, he's really, honestly, he's so good. He's one of my favourite players because his, his personality. Is driven, it, it will strive for improvement, it improves very, very quick, and for 20 million, absolute bargain. Again, what did Manchester United do this year? They finished second again, and they won the FA Cup again, and the Carabero Cup. So he's done the double, so that's three cups already in two years for this guy, but nothing really in the continental competitions. I'm not sure if he'll win a Champions League, but we'll see down the line. Into season three now, and Marco Canna is 19 years old. 12 caps for Belgium. You can see his determination slightly gone up, but it's not gone up to a point where it's gone up by a stat. But you can see in terms of his season stats, he's made eight appearances in the Champions League. Let's see if United's won the Champions League this year. Though judging by that, if they haven't. Maybe the first knockout round they got knocked out. Premier League, 37 appearances. 7.13 average rating, which I believe was less than the season before, but he did get three assists this year. But I know what you guys want to look at again is his progress. Let's go to attributes, let's go to all time, and you can see now his balance has gone up by five attributes, his marking's gone up by three, you've got decisions, mental attributes really improving, but his physicals are really good. I mean, he isn't the most technical player anyway, being a centre-back, defensive midfielder and DLP on defend, so I don't expect his technicals to rock it, apart from his stuff like marking and tackling, maybe stuff like that. But his crossing and dribbling, you know, st stuff like that for a play like this won't really improve. But mental-wise and physical-wise, I'm expecting some big things from this guy. Did Manchester United win the league this year? They finished second again, and they won the Carabero Cup this year as well. So that's four trophies in three years for Marco Canna. Let's have a look, actually, at his... If we go to Marco Canna... He was, I can't remember what it was on the last one, but if we go to his player attribute details, he is now in season three, after playing every year, 154 current ability out of 180, which is, is close already to his max potential. And that's only after three years. The guy is still only 19 years old. Season number four, Marco Canna has got a 7.41 rating in the Champions League. 
36 appearances in the Premier League with a 7.27 average rating. Scoring two goals and making seven assists. I can tell already his mental attributes are getting better. He was four star in his current ability. Let's look and season four is 166. So after four years at 20 years old, he is already very close to his potential. Like I say, ignore his value. But if we go to the progress again, let's look at the attributes and you can see all time. You can see now four decisions, three composure. Just look at them physical attribute increases. You can see the summary overall. It's all major. Again, I'm not expecting much from technical wise, but yeah, that physical attributes is just, I mean, it's so good to see. I love it when I see stuff like this. If we go to the, see what United's done. Finally, Manchester United have won the league 94 points. It was knocked out in the semi-final by Liverpool. They didn't win anything actually apart from the Community Shield. So we can still say he's won five cups or five silverware in four years. I really want him to win the Champions League. It would be great if he did. But let's go on to the next season. He is now 21 years old and he's coming up at five star in the Manchester United team. You can see his value is 15 million, but this at this point... If we didn't have him transferring, would be about 80 million. And attribute wise, I can see massive improvements in his technical actually. Again, his physical is great, but 38 appearances, six goals, 7.35 rating, 12 appearances in the Champions League, five assists, and a 7.97 rating as well. So if we go to, he must be very close now, I think, to his potential. Is four away. His, his potential, of course, is 180. He is four away from hitting his potential. So, yeah, we're going to go on two more years and we're going to see what it looks like at 23 years old. But did Manchester United win anything? They won the league again on 99 points. Actually, I've not even played the final yet in the Champions League. I have a final to play on this year. I'm just going to go forward. I, I can't believe we did this. Let me just go forwards. I wasn't expecting this, actually. Uh, let me just go to the second. I'll do this kind of like right now. And let's see if they win the Champions League. <laughs> Obviously, I, I was holiday until the, the 1st of June every year, but sometimes it does it in 365 and it fell on the 31st. But did they win the Champions League? They did. They won the Champions League 5-0. Did he play? I hope he did. Oh, he did. Yes, he was a DM and he, he didn't score mine, but he played in the Champions League and he was one of the top players. 8.8 .8 rating. Oh, what a, what a season. So he did the double in that. The treble, actually. No. They did the quadruple. They won the Premier League. They won the Champions League. They won the Carabao Cup. And they won the Community Shield. So he did the quadruple at his age of 21. And yeah, I mean, I, I really wasn't expecting that. So into 2025 now with Marco Canna is 22 years old. You can see he's had a few decreases, but I don't know what that's down to. I, I'm not taking charge of the training and things like that. He only made 19 appearances this year. So something tells me he might have had a injury. Let's just check. So we're in 2025. Why is he not played? I'm assuming maybe not. Um, he just didn't play this season, which is strange because he should be in the first team. So kind of going to write this season off. I mean, he did make 19, two goals and six assists. But for some reason, he only made 19 appearances. So I'm not sure what the assistant manager was doing at this point. Did United have a good season? They finished second. I'm going to put that down to the fact that he wasn't playing. They was knocked out in the semi-final of the Champions League. They was knocked out of the FA Cup. They won the Carabao Cup, though, and the Community Shield. We're going to total up all his history and stuff at the end of the video. But let's go forward now. One more season. Let's see if he's hit his potential. And let's see what he does in the final season on this experiment. The final season now. And Marco Canna has hit his potential. So you can see in the attribute details, if we go back, so go to attribute details, he is now at 180, and that is him at 23 years old. And you can see the mental side of this guy's game is just something to be in awe of. I mean, just look at it. Even his physical, and let's be honest, his technical, for the type of player he is, is still incredible. This season, though, he made 11 assists, which was his highest. He made two goals, or scored two goals in 38 appearances. Did they do anything this season, though? Let's have a look. They finished fourth in the Premier League this season, but they won the Champions League. And they won the, the that's all they won, actually, the Champions League. But still, 
What a season. What a guy. I'm really, really happy about Marco Canna. Let's look at his history now so you can see. We've just spoke about all of this, but you can see it all in one go now. Let's have the final look at the progress. What he's done in his... You can see the graph right here. But what he's done in his entire career with Manchester United, what you guys could probably expect if you get him at 180 potential. And you can see the vision has gone up by 6. Decisions, 5. Balance, 7. Strength, 7. 3 for passing. Obviously, he's been playing as a DLP. First touch as four, decisions five, work rate has gone up by two as well. The guy for 20 million is very hard to find a player this good for that price in today's game. And I again, I would urge you to give him a go. You Sadly, you will need to be kind of the top six in the Premier League to sign him. He's generally not interested otherwise, but there's a reason for that. He's potentially one of the best defensive midfielders on the game, or I'm going to say he probably is the best defensive midfielder on the game. And yeah, that's been the end of the video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments if you have. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.